Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here. Today I'm going to talk about version 2 of a do-it-yourself lighting project. Well, the first version of the project essentially failed. Uh, at first everything seemed to be going fine, but then the light started to discolor, and I decided it was probably due to the fact that it was getting too hot. The lights were packed too tightly together, they weren't getting enough ventilation, and so they overheated and that caused the discoloration. You can see here the difference between the light strip, uh, a piece of the light strip that I haven't used, and then a piece of the same light strip that I have used, and how they've changed color over time. And here is uh, the light fixture itself. You can see that on one side it's fairly white as it was intended to be, and on the other side it is quite discolored. And that the white side is where the light strip wasn't packed so tightly together and so it wasn't as hot. So recently I decided to redo this project. Um, I just took everything out, took all the uh, old light strip off of the light bulb that it was wound around and I just decided that I would try something quite a bit different. This time instead of trying to pack as much of the light strip as possible around the fluorescent bulb, I would make uh, one line along the inside of the light fixture uh, right up against this white uh, structure that's intended to hold the fluorescent bulb. I would put a strip down there and then I would wind in a much looser coil uh, some of the light strip around the fluorescent bulb and then I would put another line down on the other side of the bulb. And in this way none of the light strip is too close um, so it should be a lot uh, cooler and it should help uh, make it quite a bit brighter. And so I did that. It was a little bit difficult to do. I wasn't really thinking about this at the time, but the fact that I put the light strip down and, and actually um, attached it to the in, inside of the fixture and then wound it around the bulb made it much more difficult to remove the, the backing that protects the adhesive. And so it was quite messy when I was doing it, but it didn't take me all that long and I was able to do it successfully. And once I did that, the light was extremely bright it looks really good. This new light strip that I bought uh, is actually a little bit different th than the original. Here are the two strips side by side. The one on the left is the original strip and as you can see the LED diodes themselves are a little bit bigger but they're also further apart and on the new strip they're smaller and, and closer together. Uh, the color temperature uh, is 6500K on the, on the new strip. I think it was 5,000 K on the other ship, but I'm not sure. At any rate, uh, it seems to be working really well on my multi-tank, as you can see here. It's nice, crisp white light. It's very clear. The multis are well illuminated. It seems to be uh, working well for the plants so far that are in there. There's only some guppy grass in there, but it seems to be working well. And one thing that I did decide to do to make sure that uh, this would stay cool or run cooler than the original um, attempt at making this do-it-yourself light fixture is that I put um, two uh, pieces of filter tubing under the lid to lift it up and now it is about mm, three quarters of an inch above the glass surface and that seems to be providing plenty of ventilation for the um, LED light strip so that it won't overheat. I think before it was so close to the glass that heat kind of built up. The vents um, in the original light fixture were still there, but I, I feel like there wasn't enough air passing through um, for it to keep it cool, and hopefully now it will. So uh, I'm happy with it so far, and we'll see how it works long term. Thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday, all related to keeping aquarium and vivarium pets. You're most welcome to leave a comment and a like, and for those of you who are waiting for an animal voiceover at the end, subscribe.